Bella Unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this video where I'm gonna do my eye makeup using these sponge applicators. I talked about this a while ago in a video because I got these sponge applicators from Isadora which is a Swedish brand. Um, I don't really know why they sent me sponge applicators. This one has a... this one is like dual-ended because it has like a sponge and a brush but I'm only gonna use the sponge end and this one only has a sponge tip. Wait, let me get this out. Mm. So I have just saved my eye makeup. I've done my eyebrows and my face because I think that that's boring. I'm sorry if you don't but I really do. So these are just... yeah these are sponge tips. One is a bit bigger than the other one so I'm gonna do my entire eye makeup with that. Go away. And I'm gonna use... I don't know why I'm trying to combine this into two videos because I'm not so sure that I'm gonna be so pleased with the result that I'm doing but this is my Inglot palette. Uh, these are my eyeshadows from Inglot. I have not used Inglot that much on my channel. I don't really know why because I really like Inglot. Uh, I don't have that many shadows. Uh, Inglot has like a zillion shadows but I think I'm gonna use some of the greeny yellowy ones. I have no idea what I'm doing. I literally have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna go in. Uh, I'm gonna put the names of the shadows that I used down below in the description box. So, do I, do I have the big one? I haven't primed my eyelids, I just have concealer. And as you can see, this is what I normally do. I just tap out the crease once I'm like ready to go. And I'm just gonna show you this one more time. I think I'm gonna start... I think I'm gonna start with this one, the bright yellow. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, I mean, what should be my technique here? I'll just put some in the crease, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, you get a lot of pigment when you use this. Um, Okay, so putting it down, that's not really the problem. The problem is like, so how am I gonna blend it? I'm gonna try and just drag it out. I have done my entire eye look once with Q-tips. I was going to an event, like this was when I was working as a model. I was going to an event and I forgot to pack my brushes. And I went, I was living, like, I was staying at a hotel and I went to, like, the reception and I was like, do you have anything that I can use for eyeshadows? And she gave me Q-tips. So I did my entire eye makeup with Q-tips. Not like the ones that have, like, the, the flat one, no, the, the, the like, the actual Q-tips. Um, it was very hard, but I just did, like, a smoky eye and just try to blend it as best as possible but it was not easy let me tell you so i have a bunch of yellow on this side and i'm just gonna like switch to the side that doesn't have any i'm gonna try and blend this emphasize the try wow this is <laughs> mm. i'm gonna see if i can move this a bit closer the mirror do you see it Maybe not. Maybe this is possible. So I can just see something. But is that that bad? Could be worse. I do have some wine to keep you company. Maybe the wine is the reason why I thought that a bright yellow crease would be good with a sponge tip applicator. Blame the wine. But I mean, I'm not hating it. This is fine, right? How's this looking in the viewfinder? Because in real life, this isn't that bad. I'm gonna do the other one as well. I mean, I've seen worse blends from, from brushes, to be honest. I think it's all about patience, which is not a very good thing because I have like no patience. My mother always used to make fun of me because she said that once I get an ID, I need to have it done like 10 minutes ago. I have no patience whatsoever, like zero. 
Okay, so that is pretty okay. I mean... Okay, this is not as like the, the Veramona color switch. Not as effective <laughs> on the sponge tip applicator thingy. So what do I want to do now? Do I want to take this one, the green one? It's got a bit of shimmer though. All of these got a bit of shimmer. Right? I don't even know. Maybe I'll take the green one. Why is this plastic? Let me, let me get some of that green. I'm gonna take the same sponge tip applicator as I did before. I'm gonna try and take a bit of that green. Huh, it doesn't seem that green once it goes on the eyes though. Yeah, I'm gonna need to deepen this up with something else, not this one. I'm just gonna put this green all over the lid then, because this was just a very light lime green. Okay, so trying to clean this again, and I'm gonna instead go in with this one, the green that's up here. Or do I wanna go red maybe? Nah, I'll just, what am I doing? Like famous last words, <laughs> what am I doing? No, I'm gonna take that green. Taking the green, um, same sponge tip applicator, and just, oh god, this, this could go south real fast. <laughs> this is turning into like February squad. I'm just dotting this on right now and just hoping for the best. Hoping for it to blend itself, to be honest. Oh, this is so hard! I think this would be easier if I didn't have like... Because you see that my lid is moving? Basically because I'm not like 19. I think this would be easier if if things were a bit more <laughs> a bit more firm. I'm gonna go in with a bit more yellow and see if I can blend this. Oh I could kill to have a brush right now, like honestly. I'm just taking this one that's this one is the one I've used, this one I haven't used, so I'm just trying to like take the one I haven't used with some yellow and just try and get the gradient back. <sighs> okay, a bit more green. It's like it wiped up everything that was like in the middle of the lid. Probably did. I feel this part like blending like in the middle of the crease, that's the hard part. That's the hard part for sure. But I feel like maybe I can get away with this. Let me use a bit more of that green on the lid. Or that very, very light lime green. Oh lord, I'm gonna do the same on the on the other eye, I hope. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. <laughs> and um, this one is a bit more firm, the one that has the dual end. It's like a little smaller, so it's a bit more firm. I'm gonna clean that one and then we're doing something obviously totally different on the lower lid. I think I'm gonna do blue, because I can. So like maybe blue and blue on the lower lower lash line. I'm gonna start with the matte one, just to... People are like that drunk at this time, a Wednesday. People need help. Uh, okay. Maybe like that. And now I'm taking that more, that has a slight shimmer. Oh my, that is, that, that's blue. <laughs> A 
looking slightly like a parrot. Okay, so inner corner highlight left. I'm gonna clean this off best as I can. And I guess I'll take this one. Because that one's supposed to be shimmery and it's more like a like a light green. Well, that's... Yeah, this is definitely more of a, a shimmer. The other ones were like a more of a satin or like a matte that had some glimmer particles but this actually looks a bit more wet that's pretty low I'm getting it everywhere am I supposed to get it everywhere that is not blended eyeshadow but you know what it's 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 blended ish it's almost blended it's blended enough Blended enough. I want to do some mascara, but I'm gonna zoom you in a bit so you can see the um, kind of questionable blend. You can see this part. This part was the hardest part to blend. Like, really, really, really hard. Oh, I could probably blend it better with my finger, to be honest. It's really, really hard. But I am gonna put on some. Uh, stop it. I'm gonna put on some uh, lashes and I'll be... You know what? I'm just gonna finish up the look. I'm just gonna finish up the look and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the look and these are the Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. These are the lashes that Jaclyn Hill was talking about so much for a really long time. And girl, these are intense! Like, these are so intense. I mean, they're beautiful, but... Do you see that? That's some intense lashes. So, girl, you're into some really heavy duty, but I mean, it's perfect today because it's like covering up all of that janky blending, <laughs> which is perfect. But these are the kind of lashes that, that will cover up any kind of bad blending and today is the perfect day for that. But I mean, I did show you how it looked before though, but I mean, I'm not hating this look. This is looking okay and if somebody like, if I ask someone, like, is something wrong with my makeup, I mean, they might say yes, because they'd be like, yeah, you look like a citrus fruit that got covered in grass. But besides that, <laughs> besides that, I don't think that anyone would be like, yeah, it looks really, ugh. But, I mean, for me, I can see that the blending is a bit, it's not, it's not perfect, but... It's okay, it's okay, I'm looking in the mirror, it's okay. I also use the Knock On Wood from Dose on my lips. I really love this lip color with a bright eye because it's like a neutral, almost cool toned beige that is slightly on the lighter side and I really like that. So yeah, that was everything for this look. Uh, please, I do like, I challenge you. If you have a YouTube channel, if you wanna do this as well, I challenge you, you do it an eye look with just a sponge tip applicator. I would love to see others do this as well. It was a lot of fun, but it was so hard. I should not be telling you that it's so hard if I'm challenging you. It was super easy, it was a breeze. This has not taken two hours to film. <clears throat> but yeah, that was everything. If you wanna be subscribed to my channel and you are not, button is down below, I'd love to have you. I do upload. <laughs> quite a lot of videos. It's been crazy lately. <laughs> and there will probably be a video tomorrow as well, and I will see you then. Bye!